Hello, and thanks again for joining me here on the Velo Vlogger. Today I am actually going to do that full walkthrough on how I made my LED whip. So I got some new lights in uh, all the way from China, I believe is where they came from. Hopefully these work a little better than the last ones. Uh, you get what you pay for. <laughs> and uh, we will be making the LED whip. So first, what I'm using to power the LED whip are battery packs. This one, the smaller one, comes came with my wah. I got a spare one, uh, so I just have one on tap. Or if I go on long touring rides, I have an extra one without having to worry about, oh, I need to charge up or find somewhere to charge up. I just have one available. They're not really heavy, so I'm not, I'm not a, what some people call a weight weenie. I'm not worried about it. So you have those small ones. You can order these also from, I think it's a place in the Netherlands is where WA gets theirs. It doesn't have this nice little case. WA actually has this specially made. They're really nice. It'd be great if you could just buy this whole thing. Uh, but anyway, I can tell you where you can get the battery pack. I'm sure the place where I did go, I bought this battery to run my light system from batteryspace.com. They ship to the US and everything. It's a little bigger, so a little more amp hours as far as what it holds for capacity. I have a splitter at the end of it that I can run the lights, and then I can also do something else with the other end, like charge a cell phone or run a speaker system, any, anything you really want to do with a 12 volt system. Now the first step is to measure the pole that you decide to wrap it in. I have fiberglass. I got a 12 foot length, I believe. It was somewhere around 15 bucks or so maybe online. I then cut it down to the size I want. And just a little tip from me to you, I learned the hard way. Wrap it with some tape first before you cut it. That way the fiberglass does not splinter. And so the next step here is after you cut the, the pole to length, you need to prep uh, the strip. So these particular LEDs come quote unquote waterproof and if you can kind of see it there's a little bit of a silicone bead on here that makes them that way. I wrap my pole in a shrink wrap. It's completely up to you whether you do this step or not but I pull this waterproofing silicone part off just because I've noticed when I do wrap it around the pole it starts cracking through anyway and you lose the waterproof out of it and I, I found out that it pulls off pretty easily so you just start down here at the bottom and you start kind of getting a little a little bit off there and then you slowly pull it off so just to go to show you kind of what i'm doing i leave the lights on because it seems to warm up this silicone gel and it starts to come off a little easier but if you hold it really close and pinch really close together and kind of wrap it around your finger like that and so slowly slowly pull on it it comes off a lot easier. So just take your time, no rush. So once you get everything removed and ready to wrap, there is some tape on the back side of this. It doesn't really hold really tightly when you're wrapping it. So I just go ahead, when I start out, I tape the very first part down so it just holds on. I also start it up about a couple inches two or three inches up from the bottom. That way this part has something, it's bare to whatever you're putting it into or sliding it into to, to hold it in place. When you are all done wrapping it and you get towards the end, make sure that you find a cut point. So there's these little spots all along this strip where they have a little scissor icon to where to cut it. And you want to cut it exactly right there. Otherwise you'll kill off a entire strand of Light. Okay, so I've got it all wrapped, taped the end so it holds in place. As far as the tightness goes on how tight you wrap it, you don't want to be overly tight because you are going to put a shrink wrap around it so it's going to hold everything in nice and snug. As you can see, it's kind of loose in some points. The reason why you don't want to tighten it too tight, you're going to damage the little points uh, on the LEDs along here, some of the solder points and stuff. This is not the greatest quality LED strip. This is an $11 LED strip. I call it my my Velo Pour LED strip because if I had more money, but I bought a Velo, I don't. 
so I bought the less expensive and it does what I want it to do so to show you what happens sometimes so this is on the white setting hopefully it will adjust here you can see some of the lights are yellow some of the <laughs> lights are green even uh, so let's flip to a green color or let's just do the fade and you'll notice like so there's a little green one there because the red isn't working in that little LED anymore but that's fine because all we're trying to do is just make ourselves more visible on the road and give us some height visibility uh, something that's different out there on the road than the average car so the next step is to grab your shrink wrap this is clear shrink wrap this is a half inch shrink wrap it's really really wide but a lot wider than you need it you can go a little smaller I wouldn't go too much smaller but if you went smaller it would give it a tighter grip around the LEDs when you do heat it up as you can see there's a little space there uh, it would just be tighter and a cleaner finish if you went a little thicker but not too bad it does the trick I use just a little hobby heat gun I actually borrowed this from my aunt she had it for her crafting making scrapbooks and stuff and it's worked great i need to get this back to her oh thanks aunt grace for loaning me your uh, heat gun let's give this a go kick it on let it get heated up a little bit and just kind of let it let it do its thing There's no LEDs up here at the top, so I'm not too worried about anything getting damaged. But as you can see, like magic, it's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. You're supposed to sing while you work. I'm not a great singer, but I don't care. It's good for the soul. All right, so I'm gonna do this for a while, and. Uh, you don't have to sit and watch this. I'll show you the finished product. 